Why are men expected to go above and beyond, but it's okay for a woman to give the bare minimum as far as relationships? The main thing men have like a history. I'm not gonna lie, like everybody, like I feel like you hear more stories of men cheating. And women like women do it don't get me wrong women be out here cheating just cleaner with it yeah I, I, the women be you know. out here cheating <laughs> but i feel like you hear more stories of men and that kind of scares off women a little bit i think so that's why i feel like i should just give the bare minimum this is why a lot of women they're just trifling and that's the real reason why they're single without a man this is why they are alone the question was this why are men expected to go above and beyond but it's okay for a woman to give the bare minimum as far as relationships <laughs> But the first thing she said was this. The main thing men have like a history. I'm not gonna lie, like everybody, like oh, I feel like you hear women. more stories of men cheating than women. Like women do it. Don't get me wrong. Women be out here cheating. Y'all just cleaner with it. Yeah, I, I, the women as long be as you know. out here cheating. <laughs> but I feel like you hear more stories of men, and that kind of scares off women a little bit. I think. So that's why I feel like I should just give the bare minimum. Every time there's a serious conversation where men, they're really trying to get down to the bottom of things. Women will come in almost every single time. They will bring up a man cheating or somehow men putting paws on women. Every single time. It's like they copy and paste the answer. Doesn't matter what the question is. Women are programmed to bring up one of those two things. And this is why it's very difficult to have a real conversation with them because the truth is they're really not trying to have the conversation. They are babbling and wasting time. Today's clip comes from the Daily Wrap Up crew. So shout out to their podcast. Before we get started, take a second to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. If you're new, include new subscriber in your comment below. And I'm gonna try my best to respond to all of you. Not gonna waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Why are men expected to go above and beyond, but it's okay for a woman to give the bare minimum as far as relationships? I think they're expected to go above and beyond because men kind of generally grow up as providing for women and if they can't provide they don't feel man enough kind of okay. thing so they kind of go above and beyond to to prove their woman or probably people in their in her family like yo i got her i got us kind of mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. uh so yeah it might be because of that what she's not saying is that the man is going above and beyond for her to prove that he can provide because he knows if he's not able to do that she won't respect him she won't look at him as a man. Then she will complain to her family and friends. She will then say, I won't do X, Y, and Z because you're not a man. They say this all the time now, exposing their conditional femininity. So this is why men go above and beyond. Breaking their necks to prove something to modern women who don't even deserve the honor. Proving something to women who have this much underlying contempt for men. Women think that they are the prize and that men are not worth it. This is why they show up thinking they don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. To me, I think men have like a history. I'm not gonna lie, like everybody, like oh, I feel like you women. hear more stories of men cheating than women. Like women do it, don't get me wrong. Women be out here cheating. Y'all just cleaner with it. Yeah, I, I, the women be you know. out here cheating, <laughs> but I feel like you hear more stories of men and that kind of scares off women a little bit, I think. So that's why I feel like I should just give the bare minimum. No, I mean, I feel like men should just like prove themselves real quick. I don't know. But, but what are you guys proving to us? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of men come off like, I'm going to take care mm -hmm. of you. I got this or I got that. So me being me, if you stepping to me like that, you're going to have to show me. I mean, you talking about it, so... You know, so you don't feel like there's no, you don't need to reciprocate. I mean, if I feel like it, if that's what, you know, if if you feel like it, I, he has to show her that he's a man, but she only has to show if she's a woman, if she feels like it. I've said this plenty of times when it comes to conditional and fake femininity, women are able to do it if they feel like it. Their feelings change from day to day, sometimes hour to hour. But on the other side, a man, he just can't feel like not providing. They are expecting for him to do it and they want him to do it consistently. But if you ask them to do something as simple as fixing a plate or cooking a meal, they're gonna do it if they feel like it. So her expectations of the men, they are mandatory, but her operating as a woman is optional. I'm not gonna say if I feel like it, but <laughs> if, it. if you are giving me those vibes, like if we vibing, if I'm mm -hmm. digging you or, you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna respect. All, I but. think that's the problem though like a man trying to show you that he could take care of you and hold you down right and he'll do that in the beginning I agree right because he want to show you he want to be there for you 
But at one point, he want to feel like he could be taken care right. of us as well. It mm-hmm. depends on what type of relationship we've built along that way. Right? Well, if me just taking out, taking out, taking out, you, you, you're clearly receiving. <laughs> so when I'm going to get back? <laughs> And don't don't don't, don't tell mean? me don't tell me the number one line y'all gonna be like oh yeah I gave you put nah <laughs> and we tired here now no, I'll sorry. tell you that honestly that's how a lot of modern women they think they really think it's all about relations that's why if you tell them to work on intimacy they have no problem with that they'll buy things they'll do research but if you ask them to work on their attitudes you ask them to work on their weight you ask them to work on any of their home skills then they're gonna be offended and that's mostly because modern women are lazy. Work. Sometimes it takes it oh, takes God. more than that. Like look at the Barack Obamas, look at the Jeff Bezos. Like they all have incredible wives. For Jeff Bezos, it didn't work out, but they mm. have strong, leadful women mm. who stand beside them, and it shows in in the things that they can achieve. Whether it's like the billionaire. Oh, you gonna you gonna name the richest dudes? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna gonna give you examples. Let's that. go with the average dude. <laughs> okay. I want it because you can't tell me no rich dude stuff because none of that matters to them Mm -hmm. whether they wife leave them today they're not going to care but Mm -hmm. an average dude we care about what our wife how our wives treat us you get what i'm saying they could wake up tomorrow and pick a new wife that's a really good point and i talked about that here before the average man could really be more impacted that's because jeff bezos he's rich people like him can get a divorce give up large amounts of money and then turn around and 10x that again but it's not so easy for average men with average income to take so many financial hits and then be able to 10x their income want to see that breakdown that i did i'll leave the link below in the description and then you notice they bring up the richest man in the world and they bring up a president modern women they're always in la la land they're never in reality and then she said something about those men having strong wives that are leaders ladies your man is not looking for you to be strong or a leader so y'all could save all that strong independent woman stuff in fact don't even save it just throw that away if you're so strong just be alone if you're so independent and you don't need anybody well that's why you're going to be alone but to us, it's more than just like what y'all giving us. Like, what else is like? What else are you doing? Like, aside from like what you're buying us, you're taking us out. Like, aside from the materialistic stuff, like, are you loyal? Are you, you know, like, because women like really appreciate that. Like, yeah, you could give it, you could buy the bag, but like, so you cheating we? on me? Like, talk to okay, me. Okay, with that, yeah, I'm gonna just snip into that real quick, right? You saying we doing that, but what are we getting? Even if In we're return. just providing that, what name something that we're getting? You're getting a, a solid, independent woman who sticks beside you and is loyal. Well, listen, if I'm in a relationship, I don't want to hear the word independent because that's dead now. Like, we in a guys, relationship. You're getting we motiv- interdependent. What do you guys want to get when you're doing things like that? What you're getting you get? motivation. You're getting, like, I'm going to support you, be by your side, you know, doing. What do you guys want? Recip- right. Reciprocation, man. Like, so y'all want to be spoiled? <laughs> Why I mean, why no, yeah, yeah. 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 want to be spoiled too? They, they want to have, we you know, their you. woman. Want, we want like, the same energy. Like, for, that's it. Like, they want their, once, bo- their girl to pay for their haircut once in a once, while. Once you reach, once once you reach that. Then not only is the woman deflecting, she keeps bringing up cheating, but they're also being condescending as well, talking about a man wants to be spoiled and you want me to pay for your haircut. No, you entitled witch. Men want respect. So everything that comes with showing the utmost respect to your man, that's what he's wanting. Come on, it's really not that hard. Women know what men want, they just don't care. They've never heard a man say that they wanted a woman to pay for a haircut. They're being condescending. At that be. point where we know we like each other, we, that we getting there, we reciprocated. That's and it. Men, like, don't, you know. men don't want to only be the only partners in a relationship that's spontaneous. Women just like to receive, mm-hmm. receive, receive. If we don't say what we're doing, nothing is done. Mm-hmm. And that's a fact. That is See, they because we have guys on our podcast talking about that they want to be like the you know the men of the house they want to be the providers they don't want their women to do basically sh- they don't mm. want that 70 so, I mean, that, you guys but that's cool but here. what that got to do with spontaneous <laughs> what, what that got to do with you being spontaneous making a day for me okay yeah you handle the bills you 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 do this you do that okay babe let me massage your back let me do this I some off the like, top of your head yeah, of course if you're doing all that yeah especially if I ain't got nothing else going on I can't I mean, there's, why Listen, not? God, guys say this all the time, right? Because let, let's say, for example, if you go on a date, right? Guys are normally, they pay for the date nine times out of ten, right? But when a woman actually makes that gesture, what we always say, when a woman even makes the gesture, it actually shows some type of, like, investment. Like, I actually mm-hmm. care about this. Dude. I'm not just using it for a free meal or a free event. Like, you know what I mean? I actually care enough to 
go when out they my fake pocket. It? When they fake it or when they... I'll take, I mean, that. I, I, I'll take, I'll that take the fake it. At least it shows some intent. Like, you know what I'm okay, saying? Like, fake it. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm <laughs> calling, I'm calling, calling you a bluff if you it. fake it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling you a bluff. <laughs> oh, oh, you got this? Oh, <laughs> God, God. God. Like, yeah, so I mean, I, but, I don't... But what, but what I was gonna say is like, even if y'all 50-50 in a relationship, right? And your husband is still making like, oh, babe, let's go on vacation. I plan a vacation to do this. Why you can't plan the next one? You feel me? Why I can't relate? That's the end of that clip right there. Shout out to the Daily Wrap Up crew. I think a lot of people, they're really missing that. A lot of these modern women, they have underlying contempt for men. This is why you can't get on the same page with them. Like a minute ago, the man said, if I'm paying all the bills, why can't you just give me a massage sometimes? And then one of the women, she said, oh yeah, if you're doing all that, yeah, I mean, I guess I do that. If I'm not doing nothing, are we really looking at this, the value of a massage versus paying all the bills? These entitled women, they really don't realize that what men are asking for is really not much. They still rebel against it. And that's why to me, it's just highly disrespectful. But enough of what I think, what do you think? Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Shout out to Dark Power. I appreciate you, Dark Power, for always showing your support to this channel. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel as well. Links to PayPal and Cash App are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balanced analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.